Hi everyone, this is Mallory from IMG and today we're going to be talking about domain management. The purpose of domain management is to allow Pardot to be able to send emails on behalf of your email domain. So the way we can get to domain management is through here, this Pardot settings tab. Over on the left hand side, you'll see domain management. So we're going to be setting up two different types of domains within Pardot. The first is an email sending domain, which essentially allows Pardot to be able to send emails on behalf of your users that use your domain's URL. The second domain we're going to be setting up is called the tracker domain. And essentially this is creating a subdomain specifically for Pardot assets such as custom redirects, landing pages, and forms. This is a tracked URL that will be able to send back Pardot tracking data. So the way that you can set up email sending domains and tracker domains, if you were to create one for your own domain, you would just type in the name of your domain without the www and go ahead and create domain. From there, you'll see these error messages. And if you click into each one, it's going to tell you what the expected entries are and what the actual entries are in your DNS system. So for this one, it's looking for an SPF entry and the expected entry is V equals SPF one, include pardot all. So a lot of you will probably already have a V equals SPF one entry in your domain manager. What you'll want to do is just include this little piece of pardot text in order to verify this entry. And the same goes for the other error messages. So you'll just look through and see what the expected entries are and what the actual entries are in your system. Make sure that they match. Once you have them all matched up, you're gonna go ahead and check the DNS entries. Once they're all verified, they will look like this with the green check marks next to them. Down below, we have our tracker domains. So again, this is kind of a subdomain specific to Pardot. So what we'll wanna do is add a tracker domain and you'll see that here's an example, go.example.com. So for this, I'll say go.test.com, assuming test is my domain name. And if I go ahead and create the tracker domain, I'm going to see this not validated and this little piece of Pardot code here. This is going to be a separate text entry that has to be included with your Pardot setup. So once you have your CNAME and your text records and your SPF records all good to go, you're going to be able to validate everything, get that green checkbox. And one extra step you'll want to do for your tracker domain is default HTTPS and set it as your primary tracker domain. So that's all there is to it. Just a few simple SPF, text, and CNAME records, and you'll be ready to start sending emails through Pardot. Thank you.